Boxes of eggs and soft drinks are stacked here on the banks of the Suchiati River. Workers load the products onto rafts made of rubber inner tubes, which are used to cross this water boundary between Mexico and Guatemala. Much of the merchandise is purchased legally in Tapachula, Chiapas state from U.S.-owned retailers, including Walmart and Sam's. The Mexican grocery chain Chedraui recently opened this store one block from the river. Sisters Patricia and Flor Mendez live in a nearby Guatemalan village. They've been buying Mexican merchandise for resale for 20 years. The current exchange rate helps. Each Guatemalan quetzal is worth twice as much in Mexican pesos. Today I am helping my sister. On the Mexican side, prices are more affordable. Her sister, Flor, says smaller boxes containing shampoo and bath soaps turn the best profits. She says merchants carrying larger quantities incur higher costs. They have to pay the raft service, motor taxi, and bribes to the police, so very little is left for them. They end up paying about $4 for each kilometer they travel. Another raft loaded with goods heads for Guatemala. Toilet paper, cooking oil, and powdered milk. Much of it will be sold all across Central America. Buying these products in bulk in Mexico is perfectly legal. What's illegal is once the merchandise touches land here in Guatemala. A shopkeeper in Tecunumán says the high number of migrants passing through provides a steady stream of customers. Because if we just had products for sale but no human beings, then we would sell nothing. Both are needed. This raw system of commerce follows the rules of supply and demand, but not necessarily those of legal trade. Frank Contreras, CGTN, on the border between Guatemala and Mexico.